Good morning and uh, welcome here this morning to morning prayer. Uh, I'm sorry uh, I look a bit dishevelled uh, and um, sorry for my tardiness um, and the cat's just woken up. Um, so I do apologise uh, for, for being so late. I hope this finds you well uh, in good hearts and in good spirits this morning. Uh, as I look outside, it's a bit rainy and a bit, uh, yeah, damp and dank, I suppose you might say. Oops, sorry. Oh, got a message from Jacob to say he's, I uh, got a message from Jacob a while ago to say he's got school. Uh, someone's back. phone on silent. I stick up the phone on silent and just forget to switch it back on again. Um, just a, a couple of quick notices. Uh, we will gather again together uh, in about 12 hours time for Compline at nine o'clock. Will we? We think two of us saw Pippa? Pippa probably will be as well. Pippa is, is just here. Let me see if I can move this without bashing it in over. There she is. Uh, so we will gather again later. Uh, just going to move this round a little bit. There we go. Can never quite get the the things at the right angle. Uh, Lily is doing an RE, an RE lesson at the moment, so uh, that's why I'm not on my laptop. So indeed, we will have Compline this evening on Facebook at nine o'clock, um, which. As Alvin says, is a lovely way to to end end the day. So um, that will be later. I was just pondering um, this morning about blessings and what we are blessed with, and you might just like in the as we come together now, you might just like to ponder on on things that you have been blessed with things which you have have made you smile this morning or given you joy for me uh, i have to say it was waking up this morning at, um, well yeah as as george would say um waking up is a blessing indeed but uh, for me this morning it was waking up knowing there was a test match on and knowing I could switch the switch the radio on at uh, six o'clock this morning to, to hear some cricket um, a test match with England playing in and they were doing okay I've not actually checked as I've been rushing around a little bit in the last few mi minutes I've not actually checked to see what the latest score is and I am looking down at my tablet but that is to uh, to look at what we're going to do now, not to look for the latest cricket score. Um, but they were doing okay, so that was my blessing. So just in a moment of quiet before we begin our worship and praise this morning, think of something that uh, you have found a blessing. It doesn't need to be big. It might just be uh, a small thing. <coughs> Excuse me. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns on our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. 
O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Thank you, Bill. Cheeky little cricket score. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. reminds me actually uh bill putting that on there thank you very much um there is a, a vicar in swindon and if you gave him a good football score he would say praise the lord and uh he took blessings from that type of thing as well and seeing swindon swindon town swindon town results were positive he would say praise the lord uh with enthusiasm and heart um but as they say in cricket, you know, you, you, you judge one score after the second team have batted. So we'll, we'll wait and see how they do. But that's, that's a good start. I'm going to use Psalm 24. So Psalm 24. The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from God, from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors. The King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. O Lord of hosts, purify our hearts, that the King of glory may come in, your Son, Jesus, our Redeemer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. If you wish to read the, uh, well, the Old Testament reading today is Amos chapter 4. Um, if you wish to read that, please uh, do so. I would strongly recommend that you, you do. Uh, there are some challenging bits in it. Uh, the Lord has a lot to say, a lot to say to the, his people at that time and things that we can take as well. Uh, so that's Amos chapter four. We're going to move on to a song of New Jerusalem, song of the New Jerusalem. 
above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land, or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, nor moonlight shine upon you, but the Lord will be your everlasting light. Your God will be your splendour, for you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. We're going to continue reading Peter's. Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Uh, Peter may have written a letter to the church in Corinth, who knows, but uh, we are going to read Paul's as that is the one uh, in the Bible and the one we know for sure that he wrote to the church in Corinth. So uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And so Brothers and sisters, I could not speak to you as spiritual people, but rather as people of the flesh, as infants in Christ. I fed you with milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for solid food. Even now you are still not ready, for you are still of the flesh. For as long as there is jealousy and quarrelling among you, are you not of the flesh and behaving according to human inclinations? For when one says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who gives the growth. The one who plants and the one who waters have a common purpose and each will receive wages according to the labour of each. For we are God's servants, working together. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it for no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible. For the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. If what has been built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a reward. If the work is burned, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved, but only as though as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Do not deceive yourselves. If you think that you are wise in this age, you should become fools so that you, so that you become, may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise. 
that they are futile. So let no one boast about human leaders, for all these things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world, or life or death, or the present or the future, all belong to you, and you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to the world. Excuse me, Christ belongs to God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ is the foundation. It's all about Jesus. Don't really need to say much more than that. I was pondering on um, on, on some of this the other day whilst I was talking to a friend of mine. And um, we we were we were discussing how we 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 don't want to become we shouldn't become too hung up on 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 our on what we might do personally I suppose we may well be the ones that that, that sow those seeds when we talk about God when we talk about Jesus or or when we we just shine. God's light in the world, or we endeavour to shine God's light in the world by who we are, by word and deed. Uh, and we don't, we don't know what is necessarily going to happen in the long term. We may not see, as Paul, sorry, as, as Paul mentions, might not see um, the results of that. But it's God that grows, and it's it, it, it's God that enables that growth. Um, we we are merely his servants. It's all about Jesus, and that's where our foundations should lie. The foundations of, of who we are, but our, the foundations of who we are as his people, as his church. That's what's important. It's all about Jesus. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Come to the Benedictus. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. This is the Christ, the Chosen of God, the One who will bring healing to the nations. This is the Christ, the Chosen of God, the One who will bring healing to the nations. And it's to that faith we continue with our intercessions. 
And so with that faith, we draw all things to God in the knowledge that uh, as we look at the devastation wreaked by um, COVID, as the devastation wreaked by divisions, hatred and um, conflict, as the, the devastation that, that can happen in what we consider to be the most democratic of countries, such as ourselves and the United States, on occasions that democracy just highlights some of those divisions sown by um, sown by hatred, sown by fear. The hope that we have set before us in Jesus Christ is the power to overcome that fear, and that is what we pray for this day. Just going to find, oh, thought I was, <laughs> going to find um, our blessings, which we are going to use. to appear and disappear. So not those things. Let's just go right back to the beginning. Hey, not that one. Hmm. Thinking, I was keeping t keeping well to time. That's the one. That's the one. Speaking our blessings across our community. Praying for our communities. Speaking out God's hope comes from the Bible, which tells us when we speak blessings over people, God responds. When we pray, God responds. So claiming those promises, the promises of God's word, we pray in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we take upon ourselves the authority Jesus delegated to us, and in his name we speak to every household every person across our communities, wherever they may be. We bless you in the name of the Lord. We bless your relationships, that they may be strong and whole. We bless the relationship between each partner, that it may be loving, forgiving, merciful and strong. We bless every intergenerational relationship within each household, that there may be peace and love and understanding flowing between each one. At this time of separation and isolation, we pray for relationships, we pray for those who are in danger. We pray for those who are lonely. In Jesus' name, we bless every network of wholesome and supportive friendship. We bless your health, that you may be strong 
and well. In Jesus' name, we resist any sickness or disease which seeks to invade these communities. And to every person we say, be well, be strong, be healthy. To any who are sick right now, we say we bless you in Jesus' name for a speedy recovery. And we draw to mind those who are on our hearts who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. We pray for Dorinda, for Bob, for Anna, Trudy, Jackie, Peg, Judith, Julie, Lizzie, Mark, Dennis. Archie, Christine, Addy, William, Pauline, Linda, Roy, Stuart, Beryl, and Eunice. say for all those who are on our hearts, for all those that we've lifted, we bless you in Jesus' name for a speedy recovery. We bless those who are in the autumn of their lives, for all those who live and work in residential and domiciliary care, that they may know the peace and presence of God in their hearts. And in Jesus' name, we pray that they will have assurance and hope for the future. We speak blessings of patience, wisdom and love to all carers and associated staff. At this time of economic uncertainty, we bless the wealth of every person in our communities that they may have plenty to replace poverty. We bless you to have enough to live and enough to give. We bless the work of your hands, that whatever you turn your hand to, which is wholesome, may be profitable. We bless every wholesome enterprise that is conducted by you that may prosper and be successful. In Jesus' name, we bless the businesses operating within our bounds and across our town in our, in our communities, that they will flourish and employee-employer relationships will be wholesome, fair and full of integrity. We bless our local preschools, schools, colleges and universities, all places of learning and education. We pray that they may be safe and secure for teachers and pupils alike, for those that are continuing to meet face to face, albeit socially distanced. At this time of separation, then, we bless the children's capacity and students' capacity to learn and to continue to develop relationships. We pray for those going back to university at this time or those unsure about what is going to happen. We bless the, all the staff across schools, colleges, universities, nurseries and preschools. 
pray for their protection, their reinvigoration, and, their, and for them to be inspired as they inspire others. And we especially pray for Noel and Lisa, for Nick, Gareth, Susan, Sue, Joshua, Chris, Rebecca, Asha, Matthew, Sarah, Heather, and Marie. And we pray for the young people in our lives, wherever they may be. Pray for Mia, Jack, Charlie, Evie, Noah, Ruby, Nathan, Travis, Ellie, Phoebe, Callum, Anton, Kerry, Oscar, Jake, Hannah, Jacob, Lily, Emily, Grace, Talitha and Joel. Pray for all of those and all who are on our hearts this day. We pray your blessing, dear Lord, on all contact the church has with uh, young people, preschools, nurseries, schools, colleges and universities, in Jesus' name. We bless the local doctors, nurses, district nurses, carers, staff of Sandoval Court, staff of all our pharmacies, um, vaccination centres, testing centres, hospitals, clinics, um, therapy centres, all these places, Lord, we pray for your blessing on them at this time. Pray for them as they minister to people that they may have wisdom, guidance, protection, gentleness, energy and understanding for their patients. We praise you, Lord, for all that they do. We thank you, Lord, for the way that they show, uh, show you to the world around them in who they are. We pray for the emergency services as they operate within our bounds, that they will be blessed with safety, protection, and wisdom. We bless those working in the police, fire and ambulance stations across our town. We pray for the local parish councils, the local borough council and indeed our national government and we pray that they would be blessed as they serve their communities and they may be, they will be guided as they seek the best for them and look towards the future with wisdom. We pray that they will have indeed the wisdom to make difficult decisions at the moment. We pray for councillors, for officers, for ministers, for civil servants. We pray for all those working uh, in local government and national government, whatever level that that may be. And we speak to all the Christians in our communities and say we bless you in the name of the Lord that the Holy Spirit and the word of God will flow out from you in power. We bless the hearts of all who live here that you may be quickened to hear and respond to the voice of the living God. We bless all who live and work here that the overspill of blessings and the presence of the kingdom of God may fall upon you. In the 
collect for today. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your Son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by the water and the Spirit that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Using whichever version or translation you may wish. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ who sends us to the nations give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, it is a great privilege to, to do this. Thank you for bearing with me. And uh, I'm sure you were ready at nine o'clock, even if I wasn't. Um, I do hope you have a great day. I hope uh, you find more and more blessings this day. Uh, I hope that uh, those blessings extend to a positive cricket score, unless you're from Sri Lanka, um, which you may have seen um, a positive cricket. Oh, what just came up then? Uh, I'll just press a button on my on my phone and a cricket score came up. It's kind of, I would say it's spooky, but I uh, don't think it's necessarily spooky. It's more brilliant. I can't find it again now. Oh, never mind. Um, I've never seen that one before. I hope you have a great day. Uh, stay safe, stay well, and uh, unless you would need to stay in. So may the Lord be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us. Help us to be a blessing to our communities, that your ways may be known among us. Let all the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Amen. 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 Have a great day. Uh, and Pippa does. Pippa also says bye as well she is uh yeah you might if i'm not sure you can hear her she's got lovely purr um it's lovely at the moment um when you're trying to get to sleep at night maybe not quite so much um but she says goodbye as well so have a great day see you soon